Hi everyone. You know what, I, today I wanted to point out the aggressive and opportunistic nature of Scylla Siberica. And I created this own situation myself by planting Scyllas in the mid 90s and the Scylla Siberica has taken over my shade area. The Scylla Siberica looks wonderful. It's saying right now, look how beautiful I am. And it captures the attention of so many people and so many people want this beautiful group blue ground layer. But the fact is when it's done flowering, the foliage gets so wide and so dense, it smothers out anything that's coming up later in its path and leaves nothing but gaping holes because the scylla goes dormant in June. One plant that can compete with it, I'll show you, is the styliforum. Styliforum grows and blooms early in the spring, so it puts up vegetative growth prior to the scylla foliage covering it up. So it can actually live with scylla in a successful way but it's very limiting the number of plants you can use that can compete with Scylla without the Scylla smothering out. So my advice is don't use Scylla Siberica if you want a more intimate planting. And I, I would probably request, maybe you don't need to use Scylla Siberica at much at all in a shade garden. There's so many beautiful spring ephemerals that we can start incorporating into our shade gardens that Scylla Siberica might be something we just don't consider using at all. And again, I created my own nightmare. This is something I did. It wasn't something that happened with, happened. It just caused by me. And I've learned from that as I learned many things. So thanks for your time. And I hope that helps a little. Thank you.